In Auckland, the War Memorial Museum is one of the many architectural beauties that surround this northernmost city of New Zealand. Nearby, overlooking Albert Park, are the imposing walls of Auckland University. Aucklanders are noted for their civic pride and the care they give to public buildings and city gardens. Auckland slopes back from the reaches of Waitemata Harbour, a busy commercial area among wide-spreading bays. Its railway station is the terminal for all passenger and freight traffic south, and among the public buildings on the waterfront is the Auckland Post Office. Close by is the city's town hall, centre of civic life. Shops and offices are distinguished for their modern style and commercial efficiency. To the Auckland wharves come the ships of many nations from across the Tasman and the Pacific, following the trade routes and bringing tourists and holiday makers to the sunny lands of the south. Waitemata Harbour, with its bays and inlets, is an excellent place for the holiday sailor. Within easy reach are days of fishing in Hauraki Gulf, an island picnic, or perhaps some excitement on the calm waters. there are many full days of pleasure on shore and at sea. And within four hours travel from Auckland City is beautiful Kauau Island. The knowing tourist will book in at the Mansion House, famous as the one-time home of Sir George Grey, governor of early New Zealand. Here is every facility for the holiday sportsman. Sir George Grey planted the grounds of the mansion house with trees and shrubs from every country in the world. There is extraordinary variety. English oak and walnut stand beside the exotic subtropical cork, its loose porous bark fair game for curious fingers. The landscape is fascinating, but more attractive to those who know the seas about Kauau is the variety of fishing. Snapper, kawai, gurnet and kingfish abound, and the small garfish is a table delicacy. In winter, the air of Kauau is mild, and in the summer, the constant sun is tempered by the gentle easterlies blowing in from the sea. or two in these smooth waters and even the cautious are at home on the aquaplane. With launch trips and yachting in the island waters, the days could never be too long. is a modern holiday resort, but it has a history of busy commerce. A century ago, 500 men were employed in the island's copper mine. Great shafts ran down under the sea, and the smelting works made a fortune for the owners. Now the empty shafts are flooded and the furnaces idle. The abandoned chimneys and yards are a strange ornament on the shores of Kauau. In New Zealand, Auckland and Kauau are holiday centres for the tourist who's fond of the sea and who follows the sun.